So pattern in photography is a really good compositional technique. It's a great way to create interesting and abstract compositions. And it's a really good thing to do if you can't find anything else to do, all right? So if you're in an uninspiring place or you know it might be a bit boring, try looking for pattern and creating shots around that. So we have come to this brilliant place in London called the Adams Plaza Bridge, all right? And we've been really, really lucky because at the moment, it's got this art installation here, as you can see, which has got loads of pattern in it, all right? So the idea is that we are gonna try and get a really cool shot using this you know, unique place with this unique artwork in it, okay? So I'm gonna get set up for the shot. So I'm set up for the shot. I've come low down and I'm looking up because the ceiling is absolutely fantastic and obviously it's got a lot of pattern in, right? So it, it suits what I'm trying to do. The maximum pattern, the better in this shot, I think. Um, the floor is just gray, um, like silver. It's quite nice, but the ceiling's gonna be much more interesting. So I've come down low and looked and, and I'm looking up, okay? I'm all composed. In a shot like this, you have to really make sure that you are very symmetrical and absolutely bang on, which I am dead center. Everything's all nice and symmetrical. I'm on a full frame camera. I'm using an ultra wide angle lens. I'm on about 17, 18 millimeter focal length. Now for my settings, I'm on F16. And the reason I'm on F16 is because I wanna get a long depth of field, okay? I want obviously everything to be sharp. So I put it on F16. Put my ISO on 100 and that is to get the minimal amount of noise possible. I want these colors to be as crisp and vibrant as possible. And then I'm going to bracket the shot via the shutter speed. Now the reason I'm bracketing the shot is because there are highlights. We've got a really bright strip light going through uh, the middle of this bridge. Bright lights off the floor. And if I don't bracket the shots, that's gonna be a burnt out area of the shot, all right? So I'm gonna take a bracketed shot, two stops under, one at the correct exposure, and two stops over. It will give me enough information to be able to blend them images together in Lightroom. And obviously it's gonna give me more detail in the, uh, in the highlights and the shadows. It's gonna give me a higher dynamic range. That's the uh, posh way of saying it, all right? Now what I've gotta do is wait for this bridge to be clear which isn't an easy task, <laughs> and take the shot, all right? Um, what I might actually do is take a few shots of the same thing, and then I can, if someone's in the way, I can always take them out in Photoshop, all right? But I'll, fingers crossed we'll get a nice clean shot, okay? So, let's take the shot. Now, before I show you this picture, I wanna take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we run over at theschoolofphotography.com. If you want to learn photography properly, you want to be taught by professional teachers in a structured way and learn how to take shots like this, come over and see us. We have got courses in photography, studio lighting, Photoshop, Lightroom, and many, many other things, okay? So if you want to learn photography properly, come over and see us at theschoolofphotography.com. Okay, here comes the shot. As suspected, you cannot get a shot in this bridge without people being in it, okay? So what I've done is I've took several shots. So where someone is in the shot, I can overlay another shot where someone wasn't in the shot and mask it out in Photoshop, okay? If you wanna know how to do that, obviously I teach you in my Photoshop course, okay? Now, I wanna see your pattern shots. I want you to hashtag the School of Photography and we can see your shots. So hashtag the School of Photography on social media and obviously follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you can see other people's shots as well, all right? If you've liked this video, 
please like it, subscribe, put a comment, you know, you know all the things to do, okay? We need that engagement, otherwise we cannot bring you these videos. So please, please engage with the video. I hope you've liked it, um, I hope it's helped you out, and I hope to see you in the next one. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.